Hi. New, new, new topics is I'm trying to get all my algae like how to make a green pond to a clear pond. Uh, later on, I will video the clips of my pond. Okay, so then you will see before and after. But firstly. Uh, I've been searching the internet for a natural ingredient to clear the the pond or to clear the water. So I found something very interesting and just experiments with me. Okay, first he said you need uh, about uh, uh, five hundred ml uh, a bottle. But I don't have a 500 mil. I just use a little one. I think bigger may be better. So first, you need to have some uh, natto, the fermented soybean. It sets uh, couples of it and chunk it out. And I just I don't know like they have big one and small one. So you I just buy the organics tiny one and I just use the my scissors to chop it up and I give it about a teaspoon size so uh, hopefully it can get through when I put the water okay about a teaspoon then I will eat the rest of it <laughs> and then a cup of yogurt it didn't say like how big is a cup but I just put um, about this maybe whole jar but this one is organic it's quite thick I don't think uh, because I found this website in, is a Japanese website since it says using a natto so maybe I use you see maybe half jar of this because you can see my yogurt is quite thick but, um, oh, soft spoon to help me out with it this quite sour it's much more sour than the Japanese type of yogurt so when yogurt is sour that means it's m more uh, this micro micro something inside so it may be I just uh, around half of this jar should be enough yeah around this this much about two big tablespoons and I will finish this myself later <laughs> and a big a tablespoon it's not big a tablespoon of sugar and i'm using brown sugar now since my yogurt is so sour well, a big tablespoon um, most of the bacteria like good bacteria bad bacteria uh, like sugar since my Yogurt is so sour, I give it one and a half tablespoon amount of sugar um, to boost it up. Okay, and then uh, 400 ml of water. So now you, need, you see I'm stuck. Uh, I don't think they might have some human bacteria. It's quite thick. Oh, sugar. The natto is going down. And it needs to be fermented for a couple of days before it um, can put into the, the pond water or the filter, I think. Okay. So. Because I can't find my, oh, my other drainer my it's a mess
this. Okay. the spoon it might be very disgusting not do it real good okay flush it down and then what we have to do is we have to shake 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 the bottle and put under the sun for two, three days. Since the um, got uh, bacteria in it, so when it eats sugar, just like the kefir or the uh, kombucha, the bacteria will expand. And every day give Two three days it will expand and slowly every day you need to uh, release the air because I see the it melts sugar. Okay, so after two three days when this uh, expands then we have to put uh, to this uh, this amount of mixtures is one cup of mixtures can be used on 1000 liters of pond water okay so let's see now follow me to the my pond and see the water okay oh, sorry for the crazy noise for my from my neighbor I just put this like to have it suntan but you see the weather today is five something but it's all dark already and this is my pond and the fish that Christy has uh, selected uh, and she has overfed the fish today we can see the water is not too bad yet and because I have uh, changed the water and like uh, rinse out actually I have pulled everything out Let's see. <laughs> the fish okay Okay, let me show you. We're gonna see how bad the algae is from here. This basically is just a week, something, something like that. Already is all uh, very thick, and I have oh, because I have some trees here. And this one, I put it in. You can see is how much algae has like uh, have grown already from the root of this plant. And now, basically, I don't have a filter system. I since I mentioned that my filter has been stolen from someone that uh, don't know who. So what I did is I just has a pump that pumps the water from underneath to here. This is just for temporary. Okay, so this is the first test of my... Uh, it seems like this one... Oh, this, this thing's been growing. Yeah, it's been growing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's growing well in here. Uh, I put this one in my goldfish and they ate all the root. 
<laughs> and now I put them in they start growing I'll just leave it and hopefully they will grow more and then I will distribute this to underneath there the problem of my garden here like is I can't really build a filter like around here because in case of the typhoon with the strong winds so I'm thinking of building somewhere in between the pond and have to be wind safe is very important for this area you can see the fish the tail of the fish under there and I just put um, a pump for temporary use um, this is the pump I still have to, a lot of expansions to, to be done to, within this yeah so now you can see how busy I will be like to fix all of this and uh, yeah first have to clean this pond I is hard to see the fish uh, even though like from the camera view maybe it's not too bad um, can still see the fish swimming around but I prefer it's more clean the environment for them and for myself to look at and the next thing is also the um, the lotus or uh, water lilies I didn't pond, uh, like I didn't put them back into the uh, the, the the pot yet. Uh, I let it grow grow, grow out first. Uh, since they've been in the pot packed for I don't know how many years it has been. So yeah, Christy today is overfeeding the fish. The pot is full of leftover food I'm trying to skim it out but it still seems like a lot in it so thank you for your time and you can s this is supposed I have uh, uh, fruit, fruit trees behind here but the this is Longan but no fruit this year I think it's because it's lack of nutrition also um, yeah I'm thinking of cutting down of some of this tree those this palm tree maybe the tiny tiny one and maybe maybe plant some uh, what you call date instead of uh, palm since they look the, the same And this is the other flower tree. They still uh, flowering because I have put the nutrition, the nutrition booster in it. And this one has some lot of bob, but it seems that still, um, yeah. I'm trying to fed them with the nutrition booster. Maybe later on I need to also start to make some compost tea or something like that for them to grow better. Okay, we'll we'll update you uh, in a couple days, okay? Bye bye.